Good morning, I'm Evangelist Matthew Lee and welcome to today's edition of From Heaven at Seven Family. Today's episode is our first episode of 2021 and if you haven't yet seen our New Year's message, I'd like to encourage you to go and check it out and be blessed by that message. Family, I believe that the Lord is going to do something new and exciting in us, through us and in the world as a whole in the course of 21. Let's just sit back relax and watch God be God and do what he's going to do in this world. And family, speaking of new things, you've probably noticed the new tie around my neck. This tie was a gift to me from my wife that she handmade for me, as well as using her new sewing machine that I bought for her at Christmas. So you're going to see a lot more of these awesome custom ties coming your way. Family, the portion of scripture we're going to be reading from today comes from the book of Psalms, chapter 31, verses 1 to 5 from the New Living Translation. And it reads as follows. O Lord, I have come to you for protection. Don't let me be disgraced. Save me, for you do what is right. Turn your ear to listen to me. Rescue me quickly. Be my rock of protection, a fortress where I will be safe. You are my rock and my fortress. For the honor of your name, lead me out of this danger. Pull me from the trap my enemies have set for me. For I find protection in you alone. I entrust my spirit into your hand. Rescue me, Lord, for you are a faithful God. Family, isn't that scripture just so beautiful? A portion of scripture written by David, and we know how the Lord protected David throughout his life from his various enemies. So David was a man who knew God's protection. David was a man who walked in God's protection and had faith in God for his protection. That is why he can write this psalm to us, testifying of what the Lord has done, believing that as he sings the psalm, that what he sings, what he says, what he prays will be done, family. And this is a portion of scripture that we can pray for ourselves as well, for protection going into the year ahead, for protection going through the struggles and the challenges of life that we may be facing, the enemies that may be coming against us. This is a psalm, this is a portion of scripture that we can pray and confess over our lives because God is good and God protects us and he is faithful, family. It says there, I've come to you for protection. Don't let me be disgraced. God will not disgrace us, family, if we come to him for protection. Save me for you do what is right. The Lord does what is right and he saves us from our enemies. He saves us from our persecutors. He saves us from whatever it is that we are facing, family. Turn your ear and listen to me. Rescue me quickly. And that is exactly what the Lord does, family. He rescues us quickly. He rescues us in his perfect time, family, whether it be quickly or whether it takes a while. And if it's taking a while, family, it doesn't mean that he's not going to rescue us. It just means that there's a couple of things that he needs to sort out and get in line and that you need to maybe get in line as well before he rescues you from that situation. You see, family, sometimes we have to be get to the point of being in a hopeless situation for God to move mighty. The prerequisite for a miracle is a hopeless situation, family, because if it's a basic uh, situation, you know, just something simple and God rescues us from it, we're going to take the glory and we're going to say we rescued ourselves. But if it's a hopeless situation where there's no hope that we and our own strength can get ourselves out of that situation, when God comes and rescues us, family, it is nothing short of a miracle and he therefore gets the glory. We must never steal the glory from God, family, when he rescues us. It says there, be my rock of protection, a fortress where I will be safe. You are my rock and my fortress. I find it interesting that he first asks for it and then he says, this is what you are because David knew that that is what the Lord was, that he was his rock, that he was his fortress. And the Lord must be our rock and our fortress as well, family. We must entrust in him, knowing that he is the firm foundation, that he's protecting us, that he's got his angels of protection encamped about us as we go through difficult situations and difficult times. Pull me from the traps my enemies set for you, set for me, for I find protection in you. Family, Our enemies set traps for us often. Those who are opposing us try to set traps for us. Those who are opposing us try to place curses over us, witchcraft, all these kinds of things. But the Lord will protect us, family, if we go to him and trust in him, family, because we must trust in him alone for our protection. Yes, it's all good and well. We have have alarm systems and cameras and burglar bars and all these kinds of things around our house, family. But at the end of the day, we can have all of those things. But if we don't trust in the Lord alone for our protection, What do those things count for anyway? Because the Lord is the only one who can protect us, family. And it goes on there to say, I entrust my spirit into your hand. Rescue me for you are a faithful God. We must entrust our spirit. We must entrust our safety. We must entrust every situation into the hand of the Lord, family, because he is a faithful God. He will rescue us. He will protect us. And he will bring us out the other side of whatever it is that we're facing better than we went in if we just continue to put our faith and trust in him and believe that he is our rock, that he is our fortress, and that he will protect us. 
protect us. Thank you, family. I hope that this message has blessed you and encouraged you. And before I end, I'd just like to close in prayer. Father God, we come to you in Jesus' name. Lord, we thank you for this day, that this is the day that you have made, and we can rejoice and be glad in it. Lord, we thank you for your protection over our lives, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for your angels of protection that encamp about us, Lord. We thank you, Lord, that we can walk forward in confidence, knowing that you are our rock, that you are our fortress, that you are our protector, Lord, that you go before us and fight the battle, Lord, that the battle is yours and the victory is ours, Lord. And we thank you, Lord, for your protection over our lives, our houses, our loved ones, our jobs, our sources of income, all these things, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for your protection in every area and in every avenue of our our lives, Lord. And we thank you, Lord, that as we continue to put our trust in you, Lord, you continue to protect us, Lord. You continue to bring us through whatever is trying to come against us, Lord. And we give you alone all the praise, the glory, and the adoration for every victory that you give us and every time you protect us, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Thanks for watching my video. I trust that the message blessed you and encouraged you. And if it did, I'd like to ask you to please hit the share button to spread this message and share it with your friends and family on social media so that they too may be blessed by this message. And before you leave, please give this video a thumbs up, drop a comment, let me know what you think about the contents of the video. And I'd like to invite you to please come back and join me for more episodes of From Heaven at 7, which premiere live every Monday to Friday at 7 a.m. Central African time on my Facebook page as well as my YouTube channel where the replays of the videos remain for those who are unable to watch the live premiere. If you watch this message today and were touched by this message and feel like you want to give your heart to the Lord and make the decision to accept Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, I would love to invite you to please click on the link in the description of this video that says salvation. And if you watch this message and felt blessed by it and feel led to sow a seed into the ministry, I'd like to encourage you to please click on the link in the description of this video that says giving. Alternatively, at the bottom of the screen right now is the ministry's banking details as well as our SnapScan QR code. And lastly, I would just like to ask you to please go and like and follow all my social media accounts if you haven't already to be kept up to date and in the loop with everything that's happening in the ministry and every time we upload a video just like this one. Thank you family. Enjoy the rest of your day and God bless. Yeah, 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 yeah.